welcome to Art Zone, the show that takes you on a tour of the arts and cultures in Los Angeles County, your own backyard. And I've got a wonderful new addition to the Art Zone team, Greg. Hello everyone, how you doing? Jess, thanks for having me. No problem. I'm really excited to be here. And we are at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Great place for adults, for kids. I'm a kid at heart, I really want to check it out. Yes, me too. It's a wonderful place. Whether you're a kid or just a kid at heart, it's a great place to come for a wonderful day at the museum. And it's actually located at 900 Exposition Boulevard, Los Angeles County, 90007. And that's a lot to remember, so if you can't remember it, nhm.org on the internet. To look it up. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Jess, we are inside and I know where I want to go first. Where? Spider Pavilion. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to the Spider Pavilion. Too well, many legs for me. Too well, many legs. I think we should go to the African Mammal Exhibit. That sounds really cool, but wait. I'm really excited about the Spider Pavilion. You, know, you got something against spiders? I think that's wonderful. I just think we should save it for much later. Much much later. All right. Let's go. All right. Right. Here it is, the Hall of African Mammals. And look how gorgeous it is. Aren't you glad we came here? All right, you win, you win. It's huge. Wow. And the dioramas have been around since the 1920s. Cool, yeah, they're really, really detailed. So I, I want to show you this. This is the ostrich. Okay. They can get six to nine feet tall, weigh 340 pounds, Woo. and guess how fast they run? How fast? 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour? Yeah. Crazy, right? That bird. I don't even think my car goes that fast. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, look, the elephant. Oh, let's check that out. Look at that. So we've got some buffalo, some giraffe, elephants, a little bit of everything here on the jungle. And they're huge. Everything is huge. I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> Come on, let's see what else there is. The Western Lowland Gorilla, found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. <laughs> Who knew they were so political? They are. Fish swim in schools. Okay. Birds are in flocks. And hippos are in bloats. In bloats. B-L-O-A-T, bloats. Well, I think that's a very appropriate name considering the math of a hippo. They might be offended by that, Jess. Well, I'm sorry, but that's a big mammal. It is. So that is the African Mammal Exhibit. Where should we go next? Really? Yeah. Spider Pavilion. Well, see, we're already with the mammals and the ant. Why don't we try the North American Mammal Pavilion? You know you can really only put this off so long. We're going to see the spiders As long as it takes. As long as it takes. The North American Mammal. Now this looks really cool. Yeah. Grizzly bears. Mm-hmm. Big boys. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit bigger than you, just a little bit bigger. <laughs> now I know the dioramas were also done by some pretty notable artists back in the 1920s. Really? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Look at this big boy, speaking of Woo. big things. This is the moose. Yes. And did you know it's the largest member of the deer family? It doesn't look, I would have never thought the deer family. Yeah. Just wouldn't have, just look at the antlers on that thing. <laughs> and it says here that moose are generally timid, but the males can become very bold during the breeding season. Well, aren't all males bold during the breeding season? <laughs> good point. So, North American mammals. I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, it's been great. And I think there's really kind of one thing that I've been dying to see, Jess. You know what that is. Birds. We should go see the birds. No, no. You know where we're going? Follow me. Spider no, Pavilion. Wait. No, no spiders. Spider Pavilion. Birds. Beautiful. Flying. So here we are at Greg's favorite place, the Spider Pavilion. Yes, the Spider Pavilion, and it's only a couple bucks extra to come visit Spider Pavilion. Yeah. Well, let's go watch the spiders do their thing, huh? Here we go. Come on. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Welcome to the Spider Pavilion. Hi, Sophie. Thanks uh, for having us. You gonna show us around a little bit? Sure. Yeah. It's already creeping me out, so let's go. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, none of the spiders in here are dangerous. Okay. In fact, there are hardly any spiders in the world that are dangerous. Okay. I'll show you one of our stars, uh, just right behind you. This guy, our girl, I should say, all these spiders in here are girls. No way, you're gonna touch this thing? Sure, yeah. Oh okay. The reason I'm gonna pick her up is because she hasn't built a web yet, so I'm not gonna ruin her web. Show you guys. Wow. wow. This is one of the spiders we have in here. It's not from Los Angeles. Um, we actually collected these in New Orleans. Um, it's an American Nephila, um, but they get the nickname Golden Silk Spider, 
wow. because the silk that they use to build their webs is actually kind of gold in color. Did you want to touch it? <laughs> no, not in the least. <laughs> this is a spider that inspired the story Charlotte's Web. Wow. It's called an Argiope, and they're also found throughout the United States. So this is kind of a celebrity spider. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect right here in Los Angeles County. Must be at home. Now this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Indian ornamental tarantula. And it's scary to look at, but it's actually one of the most beautiful spiders to look at. And they tend to conceal themselves in the bark of trees, and that's where they wait for their prey. Now this is the Asian forest scorpion. She's an impressive, a ferocious scorpion, but she only uses her claws for prey, capture, and defense. Even if you are stung, the only effects that you'll have will be no worse than a hornet. Okay, so we're all done with the spider pavilion, and I survived. Don't worry, we're gonna get you one of those t-shirts that says like, I survived the spider pavilion. That's right, I deserve that. What's, I do. what's next for us? Can we go see the bird? Let's go see the bird. Yay, come on, let's go. So we're here now at the bird exhibit. Yes. And the bird exhibit has species from all over the world, but in the bird hall specifically, there's 400 species that are indigenous to right here in our own backyard, Southern California. 400. 400? We have 400 bird species in Southern California. <laughs> I didn't even know there was 400 species, period. I didn't, I did. And it's so interactive. Make sure that when you're here, you pull open all the drawers and push the buttons because they give you loads of information that's very entertaining. One even comes from a pretty interesting pelican. Let's check it out. Definitely. Let's do it. Now this is the bird of the US. Oh, the golden the eagle. eagle. That just looks mean. Yeah, it does. Powerful animal, love it. It's so great to have this facility right here in Los Angeles County. I mean, I never knew there was this much history that was so entertaining right here in our backyard. I had no idea. And then you feel like, you know, you come to a place like this and it's really only for kids, but it's far more than that. I mean, we're educated young adults. That's right. And we're learning. That's right. Watch out, it's a jungle out there. Yeah, this is really cool. So in the rainforest area, they have all kinds of plaques and different things you can read to get all the fun facts about it. But it's amazing, there's birds, there's trees, they've got the whole environment set yes. up. And I feel like, don't you think that's the bird from Fruit Loops? It is, it's it the is. Fruit Loop bird. It's the bird from the box of Fruit Loops. Yeah, you feel totally submerged in the environment and it's great. Really, it's beautiful, it's so well put together too. Yeah. Well, Jess, we finished our visit here to the museum. Mm -hmm. I had a really good time. Some really, really cool yeah. things. The interesting things inside. I learned a lot. I don't know about you. I did. I learned a ton. And unfortunately, it is time for us to go. So we hope you'll tune in next time to the Art Zone for another wonderful Los Angeles County gem. You ready? Yeah.